Hi. Now for the last part of this question, we've got to find the probability that the soft toy has exactly one of these three defects. So if you haven't tried this already, just pause the video, come back when ready and we'll run through the solution. OK, let's see how you got on if you did give it a go. Well, we've got the tree diagram here and if we're looking for just one exactly one of the three defects then there's several possibilities we could have and I'm going to illustrate these in color. For instance we could have good stitching which is not a defect but then suppose it does split open that is a defect but then it would have to not fade so we just have the one defect here there's the possibility though that you could still have the good stitching, we'll do this in red, but then it doesn't split open, so that's not a defect, but then the defect comes when it starts to fade. And you've got one other alternative option, and that is the defect comes first of all from poor stitching, but then it doesn't split open, no defect there, and it doesn't fade, no defect there. So they're the only options that we can have. Now because I haven't got too much room here, I'm going to squeeze this in. What we've got then for this probability indicated by the green, we just need to multiply these probabilities together. 0.97 times 0.02 times 0.95 and that comes to a value of 0.01843 and then for the red section if you multiply together 0.97 with 0.98 with 0.05 what you get is 0.04753 and finally for the blue section 0.03 times 0.3 times 0.95 well that comes to 0.0085 so we've got these three mutually exclusive events so in order then to find the probability a soft toy has exactly one of these three defects what we just need to do is total these three probabilities and so therefore if we just add up these probabilities, the probability of one defect comes to 0.07446. And if we round this to three sitting figures, it's going to be 0.0745 to 3SF. Okay.